Well, the World Taxidermy and Fish Carving Championship has come and gone. I'm back home now, and I'm just out here kind of walking around seeing what all I need to do to get caught up around here, um, which is a lot. <laughs> but I come away from this with one of the best experiences in my life as far as uh, my artistic background goes. And that what I've learned is, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, I have learned a wealth. I mean, there was a wealth of knowledge and information that I, that I picked up on at the seminars and from talking to other carvers and uh, the judges who are, are, were both masters in their field, you know, with, you know, 80 years of combined experience or more. So I learned a, a ton from them. And it's really opened my eyes to how I'm going to approach my next projects uh it's it's going to change a lot so i'm going to try to show that in my next videos and i'm getting ready to, to uh, do a walleye here pretty soon um but what i need to say is uh as a little disclaimer and I've, I've said this before i think in some of the past videos is uh i'm not an expert i've only been carving for about a year so i'm a newbie and uh matter of fact the bass uh that i just finished was uh, only my eighth project ever. So uh, I'm still new at this. I started this video channel, this YouTube channel, to kind of document my growth from being new to it to where I can potentially go. So um, I appreciate y'all following along and I uh, hope you enjoy, I hope you're enjoying these videos and, uh, and I'm trying to at least teach you what not to do. Um, but hopefully with, with the information that I gained this past week, I can start maybe showing you a little bit more on what to do versus what not to do. Anyway, so, but uh, like I say, my next project's gonna be a walleye and I'll be starting out here pretty soon. I hope y'all will uh, stick around and uh, or tune in to watch that when it comes out. And uh, I'm getting ready to show some footage from the show. Uh, it's not much, um, I probably should have shot more. I wish I'd have shot more, but I was just so excited about being there and I was bouncing off the walls. So uh, with, with all, it was just information overload basically. So, but I really enjoyed it and I did learn a lot. So I'm gonna roll this footage now and uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I hope you'll be here to look for the uh, new walleye video coming up here pretty soon. So here it is. Okay, we've made it to Springfield, Missouri for the World Taxidermy and Fish Carving Championship. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Let's go. I should have some ducks. <laughs> should have brought some ducks. I should have brought some ducks. Here you can see, oh, here you have a okay, filament, arch, raker. The, the rakers are the little bumpy things off the front, right? A lot of cool tricks. In line for uh, uh, photography. Right. Have come I don't know what's That's next. Right. Right. We're going to need to move that food line. Yeah. How about it? Is this the open table down? <laughs> I think we're going to do uh, open level.
Okay, I'm on my way over to the trade show, and uh, judging starts at one o'clock, so uh, I got a little ways to go yet, but I'm gonna go over here and look at the uh, what the trade show has to offer, and uh, maybe look at some taxidermy and some of the other fish carvings in the uh, fish carving division. So I'll uh, be there in a second. I think I'll carve a giraffe. Are we staying Saturday night here too? Saturday night? Well, I come away from the trade show with a bag of goodies. Couldn't help it. <laughs> Bunch of paint. And uh, now I'm getting ready to go into uh, a second seminar with Bob Barry. So I'm looking forward to that. But uh, You don't need a big base because you had a big fish. You know? uh, so I, I use this rule. Uh, about each element. So this is a base. Uh, an idea that's maybe something different than what you've done in the past. Kind of think outside of the box a little bit. Um, the first part of it, I guess, I'll talk a little bit about metal reactive. Um... All right, I'm heading back over to the convention center now to uh, from the hotel get to take a sneak peek at the all the uh, entries that we hadn't got to see yet. I've got to see a couple of them, but uh, not all of them. So I'm just gonna go take a look and see uh, uh, the other pieces that are entered and also the uh, taxidermy. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me.
Okay, I'm going over for the judge's critiques. Uh, judging was last night at six o'clock. It's Friday. And uh, I won't know till this afternoon if I place. So, but I'm going over to get, uh, they give a critique to all the contestants or all the entrants. So uh, I'm ready to have me a new one ripped. <laughs> so we'll see. Here's the best thing that you have going for you. Like when I walk up to this fish, we talked about the face on this fish. I don't know if you guys can all see that. This is the, the face. Um, so we, we talked about um, the proportions of the head seemed a little bit big for the size of the fish. That was probably the biggest thing anatomy wise that I saw when I looked at it. Um, other than that, there, there's a lot of great anatomy features in here. You got a lot of the details and intricacies that you see on, on the large mouth. Um, we talked about the inside of the mouth. There's a little symmetry issues with the tongue in the in the mouth here, but mm -hmm. um, I've carved the inside of these guys and that I could see all the work you did and you did it right. Um, and that's very hard to do. And you're one of the, the few people who open up the mouth and then did all the work you had to do in it. So your paint job's great, the scale tipping in here. Um, we talked about possibly arcing the fish just a little more to get more action, more movement. Mm -hmm. Other than that, uh, love the fish, love the animation. You want to hide this gold post, and then you want to get a base that looks more natural to the natural habitat in a lake or wherever he lives, because this looks like something that's on land versus something you'd see that's muddier and darker in the water like this piece. Um, and then get rid of the sheen on the base because you don't see that underwater you can have a little sheen on the fish to show that he's to give him more attention but okay. other than that it's a great piece all right congratulations thank you sir yeah no problem and you got all these great carvings next to you and you want to place with the guys who are placing it's different for everybody but um i'm just trying to help you get to the next level just like i'm trying to do all the time right we're all in the same boat and so and i've talked to a lot of you about this even now you know you got the base last minute and you're like, man, that didn't turn out how I thought. It's because you're putting the base on it after the fact. The base is part of your whole, your whole design and you need to know what the thing looks like. You got <laughs> oh, my second fish carving. Second on this one, that's cool. Second on my cropping and second on the first one. So proud that he's a part of this. He's done taxidermy and he's a big hunter. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much, Larry. And uh, on behalf of the uh, Taxidermy Hall of Fame, a lot has gone on. We want to start by uh, saying thank you to uh, Larry Bloomquist for uh, letting the fish carvers um, display their work. We'd encourage all of you uh, taxidermists out there, if you get a chance to stop by, take a look at the fish carvings. Uh, they're extremely beautiful this year. We had uh, one of the most uh, exciting uh, 
amount of entries and high level skill for the open class that we've had in many years that I've been here. And um, we'd like you guys to all stop by and enjoy all the hard work that the Carvers put into, uh, put into this show. We want to start off by recognizing uh, a youth carver that won best in show. And obviously the youth are the future of our uh, carving industry. And uh, the winner for best youth entry goes to The winner is Skyler uh, Googe, Googe, Googie, Skyler Googie. Hey Phil, what do you call a fish with no legs? A fish. <laughs> there are four levels of competition within the World Fish Carving Championships, which are open, intermediate, novice, and youth. Okay, now we're going to get into uh, best in show in the novice level. And uh, the winner for best in show this year for best novice carving goes to Danny Harris. You got it. The winner is Ed Hannon from Ohio. The open level of fish carving is where the best in the world awards are given. Fish carvers work on their pieces with a few different objectives than taxidermists do. We also compete for single ribbons as opposed to the multiple ribbons and awards in taxidermy. This week we've seen the more fierce competition that we've ever seen in several shows. Okay, now the award for best in world open level natural finish plus a $500 Cash prize goes to Les Thomas from Michigan. Size. And that goes to Bo Weissman. Woo! Woo! 